A couple months ago, I decided to do a 4.30 a.m. wake up challenge for 30 days. Now, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this challenge and wake up early is because I just want to do something out of my comfort zone. And maybe me waking up in the morning would allow me to be a more productive person. So I started this in the beginning of May and my routine basically would just start off with me waking up in the morning. I would start off reading and what I would usually read is the Bible to get my day off started well in the right mindset with the right, right heart and just to prepare myself for the day. And afterwards, I would get right into stretching and exercising, uh, whether it be running or doing bodyweight exercises, just to get my daily exercise in. Afterwards, I'd work on kind of my side hobbies, my side hustle, which was either editing videos, editing content, or even streaming very early in the morning. And... Uh, I would stream mainly FIFA on Twitch as some of you guys already know so usually that would be the routine that I would do in the morning and then after the content creating aspect of my day then I would go right into my main line of work and obviously throughout the majority of the day it'd be spent just on focused on my work and then afterwards after the work is done then either uh, my day would pretty much be free so either I would just relax get myself ready to sleep and usually I'd look to sleep around uh, 8 30 to around 10 30 in that time slot but it would vary each day you know sometimes i would go out to hang out or i would uh, look to stay home maybe watch a show or maybe work on other content creating things that i had in mind uh, it would vary so for the most part that is what my day would consist of waking up that early in the morning so we're going to turn to the data logging that I did during this challenge and every day I would log in to make sure uh, what time I woke up if I took a nap during the day and how long the, the nap was so all the way from the first of May to the end the month of May I dedicated that month to waking up early so as you can see here I pretty much I think 29 days out of the 30, I did wake up before 4.30. So I would log in the exact time that I would set my alarm. And I would usually set three alarms. I believe one at 4.20, one at 4.25, and one at 4.30. So I wake up immediately. Mostly I'd wake up at 4.25. There was one day where I believe... Either I slept past the alarm or the alarm didn't go off and I woke up uh, later, probably like an hour 20 later than I was supposed to wake up. So on the 26th, I did fail to wake up at 430. Something happened there where um, I didn't get enough sleep and I woke up later than usual. But there are a couple other occasions where I woke up a lot earlier or and they even on the last day at 3 40 a.m which i i don't really recall why but we got it done for the most part and i would say i've done a pretty good job of waking up early now in terms of naps well 25 out of the 31 days that i did the challenge um it seems like i did an extra day too even though it's supposed to be a 30 day challenge but i just completed it for the month of may and as you can see here uh most of majority of the days i did take a nap and the naps as you can see in the durations it ranged from anywhere from 15 minutes to about 
two hours it seems like the two hour mark or i did have one for three hours but anywhere from uh 15 minutes to two to three hours was the length of my naps and it seems like majority of them were around the hour hour 30 range uh two hour range uh so it's it seemed like that throughout the day uh whenever i woke up early in the morning i, I would definitely drink a cup of coffee because i think the caffeine was needed and i'm usually not a coffee drinker but i definitely took one almost every day during this challenge and in the morning i felt pretty good pretty energized uh felt very productive getting all the things i needed to do done uh to start off the day but once it hit you know noon or the afternoon it you know you definitely feel the fatigue a bit more and luckily you know my work allows me to work from home and uh, give myself a little bit of time to get some rest. So uh, the second part of my day, the second part of my work, I can actually go out into, into the field, uh, go out of my home and do the work that is needed. Um, so you can see here that I actually logged it in, kind of kept track of um, what I was doing throughout the the 4 30 wake up challenge and i just want to give my thoughts uh overall experience of how it all went i would say the first thing is that i do like was just being very productive in the evening so yeah i think when you wake up early you know mostly everybody is is asleep especially people maybe in your household that you're living with so that allows you to have your own time to do what you need to do and whether it's reading or exercising doing things that maybe you wouldn't be able to do because a lot of people are awake or a lot of people are bothering you but you have your alone time your me time to do what you need to do so I would say just being very productive is is a is a pro, um, and I know a lot of people too. They wake up early because of their work. They just have to. That's what they need to do. So um, right off the bat, they get started with work and just being uh, very productive throughout the day. But for me personally, I didn't need to start work until later on in the day, and the morning allowed me. To work on uh to, to focus on other things like uh exercising so it did keep me disciplined and in, in, in doing those daily habits i would one thing that i noticed that i didn't like as much waking up early was just being tired um and whenever i woke up like normally like anywhere from like seven to nine um and also getting my seven to eight hours of sleep uh, i would have more energy throughout the day and whenever i would wake up this early during the 30 day challenge uh it would hit a point probably around noon where i get pretty tired uh, where i am in desperate need for a nap and that's why you could see that majority of the days i did end up taking a nap and when you're actually at home and able to work from home um you do have the luxury to be able to sleep while there may be people that do wake up early that are out and if i was out uh working out um outside of the home then i don't think i would have as much naps and i think the six other days during this challenge i was probably outside the home <laughs> so um but yeah i would feel more tired even though i did drink a cup of coffee almost every day uh, i did feel more fatigue as opposed to waking up a little later uh in the morning with my usual routine and so um I would also say another con for me personally was a lack of sleep. So I would 
obviously try to sleep anywhere from 8 30 to 10 30 but if i slept uh towards the later part of the night closer to 10 30 then obviously i wouldn't get my seven to eight hours of sleep it was really hard to uh sleep earlier um from 8 30 to 9 30 although i did i was able to adjust and able to sleep that early at times but sometimes you know you go out and you meet with friends or there's something you need to do in the evening um, whether it's work related or just an errand that you had to run and um, you know eventually you just end up sleeping a little later and I think that's a big part of me just being tired throughout the day and ha having the need to take a nap uh, so um, the lack of sleep uh, definitely was a factor in which made this challenge not that appealing and I would also say um, yeah I think you would you would have to just sleep early sleeping earlier uh, I, I think uh, it kind of affected the social life so if like I feel like I'm more of a night owl throughout the day, so um, and I feel a lot of people are want to hang out during the evenings at night, and uh, it kind of affected it. Like I wouldn't go out as much because I know that towards the evening I, I just gotta head to bed early. So um, when I do go out, then I would be really tired and be lacking some sleep. So it kind of affected the social life a bit. Uh, not too much, but, you know, obviously on weeknights you wouldn't go out as much. But even on weekends, if you're just hanging out, looking to hang out with friends, you know. But you know you gotta keep this routine of waking up early, then you really have to sacrifice the sleep. So I felt like that's where it just, it just wouldn't, um, it wasn't ideal to have that kind of schedule. So overall, I mean, I just think, like, I wouldn't want to really keep this schedule because I don't think um, it just would benefit me uh, for my overall health. Um, I do value my say, seven to eight hours of sleep and I studies show that there are huge benefits in sleeping in that amount of time and just wanting to have more energy throughout the day I think it would be better to sleep in a little bit more than to wake up that early in the morning one thing the pro about being productive i was pretty disciplined when when you do wake up that early you have nothing else to do but to do i mean you could do other things that aren't productive uh just because you wake up early doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean you'll be productive but um it did keep me focused and it did uh create this kind of discipline to have like this routine in the morning uh which included reading and uh, uh, exercising and also uh, working on just some work, other side hustles that, you know, that I invested in. So um, just overall, I think it, it was it was good to try it out. I, I did wanted to try it out after all this time, and I'm glad I got a chance to do it to just see my over, overall thoughts my perspective on it and i think a lot of people do have this and for them this schedule is probably needed because of because of their career because of their work or maybe they just like it maybe it just suits them uh waking up that early does benefit them uh to their routine so uh for me personally though i don't i don't feel like the need to be waking up that early so I feel like you could just be as productive if I were to wake up at um, uh, probably 7 or 6.30 in the morning. And I, I think for me personally, that would be early enough to have that a routine. Um, the thing is, uh, if, you, if I do wake up a little later in the morning, then uh, maybe I miss out on the routine that I actually enjoy doing um and just get straight in, straight into work you know so not that i am not that i'm t 
time restricted in my line of work but you know having that routine is kind of nice so i would say that's my overall thoughts on the challenge and maybe it's something you could you could try for yourself and see if this kind of routine this kind of sleeping schedule wake up schedule would work for you but let me know what you think in the comments below if um if if this is something you're willing to try out or you know let me know about your experiences um uh i do i i do i do think overall that um it was a good challenge to uh do um i just don't know if uh i would continue to do it but you never know you know things may change and there might be a necessity for me to wake up this early but I uh, just want to thank you once again for watching this content and I hope that you found this very helpful for you and hopefully we can come out with another video to do another challenge uh, just like this. So thank you once again. If you haven't already, subscribe and like on this video if you do like content like this and we'll see you next time.